I want you to fold this heart in half. Okay, but that should be simple. Done. Excellent. Now what can you tell me about the shapes on the left and right side of the fold? They match. Exactly. A shape has symmetry if it can be divided by a line so that each half is a mirror image. The line that divides the shape is called the line of symmetry. Does this just happen with shapes? Actually, you can find symmetry all around us. Really? How can we see that? Let's look at this cute dog and try <laughs> to find some symmetry. If we draw a line of symmetry down the middle of the dog's face, both sides match. Neat. Let's look at some more examples from nature. Look how this beetle has symmetry. The shape of its body, its legs, and antennas are exactly the same on the opposite side of the line. This one is challenging. Oh, I'm imagining a line going from the top of one petal down through the other side. If you draw a line here, both halves match. So that's a second line of symmetry. If you draw a line here, both halves are still matching. Let's look for symmetry in some other shapes. If we can fold it in half, both sides match. Then it has symmetry. Let's see what happens if we fold it the other way. Each side of this fold is matching too. So this rectangle has two lines of symmetry. Right. Now try to fold it diagonally. Is that a line of symmetry too? This fold does not make a line of symmetry. The two halves do not match up with one another when folded across the line. Hey kids, if you want to watch this whole episode and more, tell your teacher to sign up at generationgenius.com. We cover all math topics, grades K through eight, and you get to watch it in class, but only if you tell your teacher.